Hi students, uh, now we will be solving the questions from uh, previous SSB, uh, SSC and RRBJ of uh, SFD BMD. Okay? So all these questions are from uh, uh, previous SSC and RRBJ only. Some, if any question uh, is misplaced from other topic, I will tell that and move that topic accordingly and we will be solving in that topic. Okay? Right. Okay, first question, a cantilever beam of length L is subjected to couple M at the mid span. Determine the shear force at the quarter span from the free end and fixed end. Okay, so given a cantilever, okay, with the uh, moment at mid span, they are asking quarter span from the free end. While solving the questions, observe the keywords. Keywords are very, very important from the free end, like this kind of words are very, very important. Okay. So, what we have to find? Determine shear force. So, what we have to find? From where we have to find? These things are very, very important. Okay. Generally, in majority of the examination, twist come within this only. Okay. Once we, if we remember the formula from one side, they will ask from other side like this. Okay. Anyway, so in this question from the free end, so just see the right side, there is no shear force, no bending moment diagram. Okay. So, the answer is 0, 0. Did not solve this. Next, a cantilever beam of length L is subjected to couple at the free end, then so standard case, uh, rectangular bending moment throughout, need not draw this also as this is standard case, it should be within your mind, bending moment constant throughout. Next, a simply supported beam of length L associated with the two point load, generally two point loads means with L by 3, L by 3 distance will be given, so, generally do not waste time in reading the question. Uh, try to find the keyword. So, generally keywords will be from the end or if we need any information, we can go back. For example, calculate the magnitude of bending moment acting at the left end. So, given simply supported, they are asking left end. By default, it is 0 unless until there is a couple acting on it. Okay. For this particular type of question, there is a figure also given. So, when there is a figure that is giving complete data, you need not read the data that is there from the, uh, uh, so it will save time. The data is simply explaining the figure. Okay, so first, what we have to do whenever there is a figure, try to read what we have to find. Okay, uh, calculate the magnitude of bending moment acting at the left. That's all. Remaining whatever is written, that is not really important here. Okay, slowly, when we solve the questions, we will be knowing for which we have to read the above data. For which we have to, what are the keywords we have to see like this? Okay. So, clearly they are asking from the left hand support. So, left side there is nothing. You can see from the left side or right side. So, left side there is nothing. So, obviously the answer is 0. Next. See for this question also there is a figure. Okay. The question is related to two point loading system. What we have to find? Okay. Which of the following statement is correct? Okay. That is all. What is written on the top is not required. Which of the following is correct? Okay. Bending moment is constant in the middle one third. Standard case. Standard answer. Okay. So, for particularly for subjecting to pure bending only, we will be using this, right, okay. So, there is no figure for this, okay, let us see what is the question. First, calculate the shear force at the mid span for cantilever, okay. Cantilever UDL intensity for middle one third point, okay. Cantilever beam is subjected to UDL of intensity. Uh, w per unit and or middle one third point. Okay, these are keyword middle one third point. Okay, so in middle one third there is cantilever. Calculate the shear force at its mid span and fixed. So we want to calculate shear force at mid span and as well as fixed end. Okay, so you can see the total load is W L by three as total length is L. This is L by three. Okay, and half of this is W L by six. As we need to find shear force. At the mid span, you can see from the right side or left side. Right side is convenient. W L L by six and total load is double L by 3, so that will be the reaction obviously. So, the shear force is double L by 6 at the center and double L by 6, L by 3 at the support option C. A cantilever 2 meter long beam carries point load 300, 500, 800 at these lengths. Okay. What will be the shear force at the fixed end and bending moment at the free end? Okay. See the question, need not rather calculate the Fixed end, uh, calculate the shear force at fixed end, okay. Shear force at fixed end and bending moment at free end. For cantilever at free end, bending moment will be 0 unless until there is a couple acting at that point. There is no couple, only load. Whatever may be the loading system, bending moment is 0 at the end, need not draw that. 
and shear force at the support is just the sum of loads we need not draw the figure for that we are they are not asking any bending moment to calculate the distances so simply uh, the answer should be 13 3 1600 so 1600 0 option d even if they are asking bending moment let us say if they are asking bending moment at the support so we need as they are asking bending moment at the support we need distances to the fixed support okay they are asked giving the distance also from the fixed support. so directly 300 into 0 0.5 500 into 1.2 800 into 2 so we need not waste diagram in drawing this particularly for sscje kind of examinations we should minimize the uh, solving time as far as possible time is very very essential in sscj and even there is a negative marking as well uh, in sscj examination and rrbj examination as well so you need not read the entire generally toppers what differs toppers is not in the understanding concept only but also in the way they solve is very, very unique so that you have to train by yourself aptitude skills everything this cannot be taught by somebody but when i am solving i will solve you uh, i will show you the method of what i think how i think how i solve so that you also get habituated to it but unless until you solve it by applying your logics you cannot get this okay just by seeing okay so after this you also try to solve the questions in the way i am solving only then it will get habituated to you okay and unless you until you are seeing the solutions of me you will not get that okay if you are not having aptitude skills logical skills or solving skills you should take this print you can watch the solution because you do not know the way to think so first observe the way to think to solve faster and apply that to yourself okay you can solve the same question again after that for extra practice from the question bank you can solve anything you want okay next a cantilever beam of span l carries a cantilever sorry ca carries a clockwise bending moment m at the free end the bending moment diagram is so already standard case constant bending moment so it is a rectangular bending moment m next cantilever beam of span l subjected to a clockwise bending moment same thing na? the shear force at any point zero already discussed this case so seeing from the right side there is no load so absolutely zero and bending moment is rectangle next for a simply supported beam if the area under the shear force diagram between two points is constant then the difference between the moments is so already we discussed the shear force is nothing but dou m by dou x so bending moment will be integration of shear force into dx okay so this gives you the uh, difference between the bending moment between the two points so as the diff integration of shear force is giving c that means that the difference of moment will be c next a single rolling load of uh, 40 kilo newton this is uh, influence line is a question i think continuation question same influence lines this is from structural analysis misplaced here next a cantilever beam shaft shaft length l subjected to a moment m at its free end the shape of the shear force is so cantilever same question again repeating no shear force okay so this is one standard case we discussed so directly see the keyword maximum positive equal to maximum negative maximum positive is maximum negative is different at the midpoint maximum positive is equal to maximum negative is different at the midpoint sagging equal to hugging is different from maximum positive equal to maximum negative so this is maximum positive is equal to maximum negative and see what is the length l value is between the supports when l value is between the supports the answer is not 0.207 l it is l by 2 root 2 so the answer is c next the slope of a bending moment diagram gives so dm by dx obviously shear force d cantilever defl slope deflection this is also misplaced question point of contraflexure where the bending moment changes sign a simply supported beam which carries a uniformly distributed load has equal overhang to have maximum bending moment produced least possible yes same question in a different format 
general case 0 0.207L but if they change okay nothing is given so answer is 0 0.207L because they did not mention the value of L whether it is between or total length equal to the total length of the beam that is all okay okay with respect to total length they have given anyway answer is 0 0.207. The maximum bending moment for a simply support beam with a uniform distributed load W per okay, standard case WL square by 8 simply supported with UDL. Shear force diagram of a loaded beam shown in the figure. Okay. So, this is the shear force means it is a UDL for cantilever. A simply supported beam, no, a simply supported beam, no chance. Cantilever with isolated load, no, cantilever with uniform. This is correct. Okay. Next, a general expression of the bending moment is the beam is okay. So, from the equation they are asking beam here we can see the reaction is W L by 2. Okay. So, it is a symmetric load minus W X square by double X square by 2 says that it is a UDL. Okay. So, it is a UDL carrying uh, throughout because they did not mention from here to here from here to here different equation throughout the beam same equation means it should be a SSB with uniform load. Uniform load W per unit length. Next, the moment of the couple set up in a section of a beam by the longitudinal compression and tensile force is known as moment of resistance. This is uh, related to uh, bending stress chapter. If four reactions are acting on a beam, then the system is okay. So, this is uh, SA intro. Next, moment at a hinge will be okay. So, already I told you regarding internal hinge uh, initially, wherever there is internal hinge, the bending moment will be 0 at that point for any kind of loading, for any kind of loading it will be 0. So, the answer is 0. When there is a hinge for any kind of beam, it has to be 0. To ensure that hogging at two points of suspension of a pile. So, already I told you this can come in the form of suspension as well. So, the answer is 0.207L. A beam is defined as a structural member subjected to transverse loading, axial and transverse loading or transverse loading, only transverse. If it is axial subjected, it cannot be called as a beam. Next, by applying the static equation to determine, we may determine supporting reaction only shear force, everything we can determine. Next question, a pile of length L carrying uniform distributed load W per unit length uh, two points, the maximum bending moment at the center of the pile or at the center of the suspension is okay. So, they are asking you, uh, they have suspended but they did not give you the overhang length. By default, they mean uh, standard case only obviously. So, for the standard case, we know maximum hanging must be equal to maximum hanging. So, we will directly find maximum hogging only. W A square by 2, where A is 0.207 L all square divided by 2. So, 2 square means we will take approximate because the variation is good enough to filter the option. So, 0 0.04 divided by 2, which should be W into 0 0.02 something, okay, which means the answer should be 1 divided by 5 nearly as there is 0 0.2 here, okay. So, 1 divided by 4, 5 nearly means the only possible option is option 3. So, even though you do not know the answer, still we can find it. Also, remember the answer, okay, WL square by 47, okay. Next, a simply supported beam carries a varying load from 0 to at one end and W at the other end. If the length of the beam is a shear force will be 0 the distance x from the least possible point. Simply supported with, with varying load 0 at one end to double at the other end. If the length of the beam is A, the shear force will be 0 at a distance. Okay. So, already we know this uh, standard equation A divided by root 3. I think root 3 is not printed here. So, some of the option must be C. So, C means this must be root 3. Okay, so, standard case, we know the shear force is 0 at a distance of L by root 3 or 0 0.577L. Next, 
a simply supported beam is loaded as shown in the figure the maximum shear force is ok. So, we want to find the maximum shear force by symmetry every uh, both will share equal load 2 3 4 means 2 w 2 w. So, coming from the left side here 2 w w 0. So, the maximum is 2 w. The horizontal beam a horizontal beam carrying uniform distributed load is supported with a equal overhangs shown below the resultant maximum bend moment is the resultant bend moment at the mid span shall be 0 ok. So, second standard case what we have discussed option C. So, the figure is missing. So, based on the option we can understand the figure easily. So, as they have given 0 0.5 it means that the figure is like this. Next question, a simply supported beam <coughs> carries a varying 0 from standard case. If the length of the beam, uh, the maximum bend moment, so maximum bend moment we already uh, discussed w a square divided by 9 root 3. So, option D. Okay. A beam is subjected overall 3 rollers lying in the same plane, the beam, uh, this is a C. Which of the following beam is likely to have a contra flexure? Already I told you, right? So, from the given option, the possible option is overhang. Suppose if you have a fixed beam in this, go for fixed. The slope of a curve of uh, SFD at any section will be. So, slope of the uh, SFD means we will be getting a loading rate. The ordinate of loading diagram at the section, the slope of the loading obviously wrong, the area of the loading obviously wrong. So, the possible option is ordinate of loading diagram at the section. Next, the shape of cable under uniformly distributed load is cables, this is from SCA cables. Okay. Please uh, pick up the correct statement from the following. For a uniform distributed load, the shear force varies linearly. For a uniform distributed load, for a uniform distributed load, the shear force varies linearly. Okay. For a uniform distributed load, bending moment curve is parabola. For a load varying linearly, the shear force is parabola. All are correct. Shear span is defined as already we discussed. The shear force is constant. It need not be zero. It has to be constant. If bending moment is constant, we call that as pure bending. For a cantilever beam with UDL, the shear force vary. So as it is UDL, it is a linear, linear law. Okay, that is possible answer. The shape of bending moment diagram in a beam subjected to only UDL. Okay, so as it is UDL, and they are asking bending moment, it is a uh, 2 degree parabola, parabola simply. Next, in a simply supported beam subjected uh, of span L subjected to UDL of intensity W or it is the maximum bend moment is given. So, simply supported with UDL WL square by 8 standard case. Okay. For a cantilever shown in the figure below, the value of shear force at the fixed shear force is nothing but the total amount of load. So, 25 kilo Newton plus 30 into 1.5. So, which will be 45 plus 25, 45, 70. Next, the beam shown in the figure is overhang obviously, one side overhang, single overhang beam. Consider the following statement, a simply supported beam is subjected to couple somewhere in the span, it would be produce. Okay. So, shear force will be obviously uh, rectangle, a rectangular shear force correct. Let us see there are more possible answers. Okay. Parabolic bending moment wrong. Both positive and negative bending moment maximum points at the point of application correct. So, 1 and 3. So, if you remember the standard case. So, what will be the shear force diagram M by L and what will be the bend moment diagram? 
So, at the same point we have maximum negative and maximum positive. Next, the bending moment m is constant over a length of over a length segment l, the shear force will be constant over the length given by. The bending moment is constant over length segment l, the shear force will be constant over this length and given by. So, answer none of the above. The question is not correct basically. Bending moment is constant does not mean shear force has to be constant in that reason and they are asking the length and none of the uh, options is matching the unit of length as well. So, the option is none. A cantilever of span L has a load P acting at the free end, the bending moment at the free end will be. Bending moment at the free end obviously 0 whatever may be the loading case unless there is a couple free and has to be zero bending moment. A simply supported beam having a span of 3 meter and carrying a UDL of 10 has a shear force. Shear force at the mid span ok. So, shear force at the mid span with UDL. So, if you remember for the UDL shear force at the mid span will be zero. The rate of loading of shear force is equal to rate of loading of shear force means intensity of loading, area means change in bending moment. For the same span and loading condition, the maximum bending moment in the fixed beam compared to a simply supported beam shall be lower. This will be this you will be knowing later uh, in later chapter in determinate beams. The shear span is defined as shear force is constant, not zero. Next, if a cantilever beam carries a uniform distributed load over the entire length, then the shape of the bending moment is uh, triangular parabola, quadratic parabola or 2 degree, 2 degree or quadratic both are same. The shear force at the point of contraflexure will be, so shear force for this case same case m by l. So, throughout we will have same only for this m by l. So, even at the contraflexure we have m by l only, option b. A rectangular log of wood is floating in the water with a load of 100 Newton at its center, the maximum shear force in the wood will be. There are so many uh, controversies uh, for this, uh, controversies means uh, so many type of explanations for this. So, if there is a log and we are applying a load, okay, so generally the weight will be in the form of the reaction from the water will be in the form of UDL. So, when we find uh, shear force, when you try to find the shear force from this, uh, zero shear, so here you see the uh, question is given zero, zero shear all, why the uh, shear is zero I will tell you. If we calculate by equation, obviously we are getting some shear, but why you are not getting uh, shear force means I will tell you, generally a beam will be supported like this. Okay, so, we are getting shear force and bending moment diagram. Suppose if the same beam is placed on the floor and we apply the load, we do not get any bending moment or shear force. Similar way, if you are travelling on a boat and you are standing on the boat, it will not give any shear force or bending moment because the entire beam is resting on the water. So, whatever the load you are giving is not at the single point, it is like axial load on it. So, it will be spreading throughout, it will not create any shear force or bending moment. But there are few uh, books which are uh, giving explanation something like this which is not satisfactory for me. So, you have to go with zero shear force throughout is a better answer for this. Okay? Even there is no possibility of getting bending moment. So, a floating would will have zero shear force and zero bending moment something like this. If there is no other option possible, then the person might have followed a different source and you calculate the shear force accordingly W by 2 whatever. Okay. 100 means shear force at the middle it should be something half of this, but that is not logically correct 0 is perfect. Okay. 0 shear force is correct. Next, the point of contraflexure is a point where the bending moment changes its sign. Next, for the cantilever, 
बीम द एब्सल्यूट शेयर फोर्स एट ए वेर इज ए ओके शेयर फोर्स हाँ शेयर फोर्स इज नथिंग बट रिएक्शन सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस यू गेट ओनली मोमेंट देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ लोड सो शेयर इज जीरो थ्रू आउट इन ए कैंट लिवर बीम सब्जेक्टेड टू ए जनरल लोडिंग द मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग मोमेंट इज एट फिक्सड बीम वाई दे कॉल जनरल लोडिंग मीन्स generally we take load from top to bottom there may be load from bottom to top inclined load there are so many cases in general they are asking okay wantedly if we want to make that as not maximum we can create using some couples for a simply supported beam shown in the figure the magnitude of vertical reaction at b okay so load into distance to the opposite support divided by distance 10 the maximum shear force in a simply supported beam of panel subjected to a central load w given in the expression is w by 2 simply supported with point load two identically similar supported beams of span l are subjected to equal w carrying okay the ratio of their mid span moment two identical simply supported equal load w on one beam carrying load and udl of entire span okay the ratio of their mid span bending moment okay so one is like this another another is like this the same load is distributed so wl capital w so they have given w is equal to w into l so acha deflection so maximum bending moment okay okay so for this it is w l by 4 and for this it is w l square by 8 but they have given W L is W as the total load is constant, so we can write this as capital W L by eight. Okay, so the ratio is simply half. The ratio of their bending moment first, which they have given W one beam is carrying the load W at its center in the form of U D L or the. The ratio of their bending moment. Okay, which is first, which is first is not mentioned clearly. And the two identical beams supported. Okay, maybe the uh, the type uh, typing mistake is possible. Depends on whichever is first. Will it will be one by two or two? So as the answer is two, it means that uh, uh, it is uh, this divided by this. So double L by four divided by double L by eight. So this will be. Shear force at the mid-span point D is given by shear force at the mid-span point D. Where is it? Okay. So because of the uh, moment, okay, what is the reaction we get? M by L and M by L. This is clockwise. Sorry, this is anti-clockwise. So this is plus M by L. This is minus M by L. So for shear force, you can see either left side or right side. You can see the left side which is convenient. So answer is M by L. Next. A singly supported beam is carrying a distributed load zero intensity over the length. Uh, okay, same standard case. The shape of the bending moment. Okay, cubic parabola, because shear force is two degree, so bending moment will be three degree. The shear force diagram of a cantilever beam subjected to concentrated load at the free end is shear force. Okay, rectangle. Shear force for point load and rectangle. Point load at the free end is rectangle. At the point of contraflexion, the bending moment changes its sign. Same repeated question. Minimum, maximum, zero, zero and changes sign. D. That's all. Good. Okay. So that's all about the questions from SSC JE. Okay. Now we'll solve the questions from RRB JE as well. In a overhang beam ABC, AB is equal to L. B C equal to A, C being the free end. Okay, if it is subject to a vertical load W at the free end, the maximum moment occurs at. Okay, so where you get the maximum bending moment? Obviously, maximum hugging we will be getting here. So A B C. The answer is B. Here it is zero. Here it is zero. Here we are getting maximum sagging. Sorry, maximum hugging. Okay, so how it looks? Here it is zero. And again, subjected to zero. So maximum bending moment here, because there is no point load in between to create sagging. So entire beam will be in hugging. Which type of beam freely supported at two points has 
वन आर बोथ इन एक्सटेंडेड बी ऑन द सपोर्ट ओवर हैंगिंग बी ए सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू ए लीनियरली वेरिंग लोड फ्रॉम वन द नेचर ऑफ वेरिएशन ऑफ शेयर फोर्स इज टू डिग्री पैराबोला द बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम ऑफ ए सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम कैरियंग यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ओवर द एंटर स्पैन पैराबोला द पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्ट्राफ्लेक्शर इज द पॉइंट एट विच द बेंडिंग मूवमेंट चेंजेस इट साइन सी most of the questions here you can see in a repetitive nature and the standard of the question is also relatively very less compared to state government job so whatever the content we have given is much more than state government job initially whatever the classes we have taken so that it it will be suitable for state government as well or uh, even some of the ies questions which can be solved within 1 minute definitely you will be able to solve with the concept okay so after completing this try to solve questions from various state government jobs everything so that you need not practice again when you are getting a new notification okay so that's all about uh, shear force diagram and bending moment diagram okay